We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about what to do if your aircraft won't crank over. And what I'm talking about is just like an automobile, there will come a day when you turn the key and it just doesn't happen. Might be because of a weak battery. You might have left some accessory on for a little too long. It might be too cold. Uh, a number of reasons why you just can't crank it over. Now normally with a automobile you would raise the hood, get some jumper cables or your charger, attach it to the batteries, bring the battery back up to charge and you'd be on your way and you close the hood. We're dealing with our aircraft now. Sometimes it's not so easy to get to the battery you don't have a hood to raise you have a cowl to take off and that could be somewhat time consuming let's count the number of fasteners needed to remove this typical cowl don't forget the other side and then put it back on how long would that take so what we want to show in this tip is maybe an easier way to be able to get your battery recharged for whatever reason so you can get up and flying without having to open the hood or take the cowl off. Let's take a look. Do you even know where your battery is going to be located in your aircraft? And how easy is it to get to those terminals? when you need to give them a charge. Oh yeah, we'll be able to safely get some jumping cables in there when we really need to. Gosh, don't hurt yourself. The key to making an easy job of recharging your battery when you need to at the last moment is to have access to your battery from the instrument panel. And this is done very easily with a simple device called a cigar lighter socket. If you wire this socket properly, and that is with the proper size cables going directly to the battery, you have a very simple path to be able to recharge. You can get a solid 20, 25 amps of charging and simply plug it in to the charger. Attach your charger to this cable and within, let's say, 20 minutes, depending on how bad your battery is, bring it back up to full charge, remove it, and start your engine. Here is how simple this works. This device is just a cable with a cigar male plug at one end, a nice thick 12 gauge cable, and at the other end a couple of ring terminals. These don't have to be ring terminals, they can be any terminals whatsoever. What we're going to do if our battery is dead is simply plug this into our dash. You then attach your charger to the two terminals at the other end of the cable. Observing correct polarity, of course. A typical small automotive charger puts out anywhere from 10 to 20 amps, which is more than enough to restore a small aircraft battery in no time at all. What's nice about this is anybody with an automotive charger can help you bring your battery back to life, especially if you are somewhere away from your home field. 
as long as you keep this cable with the aircraft you can plug it in to the dash and then initiate a charge using this cable. When selecting a female cigar socket for your aircraft panel make sure you select a really nice one heavy duty. This one has a weatherproof seal and the important thing is it doesn't have the wires pre-wired into the socket rather it has these terminals so that you can choose the proper wire heavy gauge wire now I recommend at least number 12 12 is good for up to 25 amps at short distances let's say up to 10 feet and you could even go with number 10 if you wanted to that way you can place your own stake on connector and connect it to the terminals so this will provide for a good solid 25 amps worth of charging safely and of course we're going to fuse the connection that goes directly to the battery from these terminals directly to the battery did I say it's going to go directly to the battery as I mentioned we need to fuse that connection between the female cigar lighter socket as it goes to the battery and here's an example of one way to create that fuse it's simply to wire in one of these devices and then you can select the appropriate fuse size be it a 15 20 or 25 amp fuse but this way the cigar socket is protected from too much power so make sure you fuse your connection from the cigarette cigar socket to the battery keep in mind that this receptacle is universal in that it can power all sorts of accessories for your aircraft heck you could even power a small air pump for your tires if you needed to and of course everyone needs a couple of USB adapters for charging their phones and other personal devices because it's hooked directly to the aircraft battery it is always on you can even get one that provides a voltage reading for a quick visual status of your battery charge. If you're interested in actually jump starting your aircraft battery then this is not the way to do it. There is too much current, too much amperage to go through that little cigar lighter socket. These would have to be placed directly on your aircraft's battery terminal if you wanted to truly do a jump start. If you haven't finished building your aircraft you might not be thinking that recharging a battery would be a common event. Let me share my experience with this matter of turning the key and not getting an engine start. Twice, not once, I have left the master switch on accidentally after exiting the aircraft. Several times I have overprimed the engine on a cold day and ran the battery down while cranking. After each winter season of not flying for a prolonged period of time, a charge is needed and any severely cold temperatures will require a boost from charging to get a less than new battery to get things going didn't take me too long to install and appreciate this cigar charging port especially since I don't need any special connectors to hook up a charger and there you have it what a simple but effective way to be able to recharge your battery quickly without taking the cowl apart and anyone with a charger can do it for you when you're in a pinch so something to consider and then back to building